Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all fit and healthy. So I'm on with this week's book haul. It's an open collaboration so anyone can join in. Whack up your videos of your crafty book haul and add the hashtag Friday book haul in your description. Now, these are some of the bits and pieces, the random stuff that I got while I was at the bookshop today. So this must have fallen out of a book. So it's a card. Oh, and it's blank, which is cool. It looks new. I've got Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers dancing cheek to cheek again in top hat. So that would be really cool for a dancing journal or what if I ever did one on Fred Astaire. Not sure I would, but it'll go in something. Library card in the pocket, which they never come out looking too good, but that's all right. <laughs> And I grabbed these due date slips as well for some collaging. I grabbed this dust cover, the black arrow. I didn't want the actual book. It wasn't in any good condition. So, but I did like the look of the dust cover. And there was a broken music book that looks like it's just empty pages. So that, that would be great to fold and put in some journals as pages. And we'll start on the books. A few little ones first. This one, I just like the title, Songs of a Sourdough. <laughs> and then I just pictured this loaf of bread singing. So I thought I have to grab that just because it made me giggle. So this one's 1942 reprint. It does have, I thought it had one that I had heard of, but maybe it doesn't. But I'm going to read it and see if there's any um, bits that I like the look of to put in my journals. But yeah, Songs of a Sourdough. The story of Ferdinand, um, the dust cover appealed to me. And then I checked the cover, and that appeals to me too. It's quite amusing. Um, I'm not sure. I do like some of the pictures, um, so I might keep them for something. But it was mainly the cover that I liked. Uh, 1955. So it's a story about Ferdinand the Bull. Looks like he's having a bit of a rough time in the end, so. <laughs> but the cover's cool. This is Life's Handicap by Rudyard Kipling. It's a nice old book, this one. Um, it's got 1887 to 89 there, so that may be the date. So, um, that is great. I thought this one had some pictures, possibly. Maybe not. But it's an antique book, so I'll hang on to it. And check up about it. Yeah, so no pictures. I was wrong. A beautiful old book. Fluffy and Tuffy, the twin ducklings. <laughs> yeah, I just thought this was really cute. So, um... A lot of these books come from the recycle bin and then I did buy a nice pile as well because, you know me, I have no self-control. But yeah, this is just gorgeous old pictures. I'll have to look up about it. It looks quite old, but really cute. And I've got a soft spot for ducklings, don't we all? They're so fluffy and cute. And I did have um, one or two when I was young, or one. The Second Jungle Book. It's a Rudyard Kipling again. This one must be the one that has some good pictures. And this one's 1956. But I love these pictures. Really, really cool. I have to do an animal journal or something based on um, 
the jungle book one day maybe with some of the animals that are included because I think I have a few of these now but just different different editions and that with different pictures but that I just love it the beautiful old one Yes, I like the cover on this. It's hymns, ancient and modern. But yeah, it's a really, really nice cover. It's still in quite good condition there. Nice embossing. Now, I'm not sure. So there's Midsummer 1924 down there, but then it's got the shortened music edition. A melody book 1940 so maybe this is the 1941 nice pages of music in there this is Tufty the teddy and then it's got koalas there it looks like someone's cut down the dust cover and stuck it on and it looks pretty dirty under there but when I opened it up and had a look at the pictures <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd better grab it. So I've got Tufty there, the koala. Well, that's quite a nice old picture. First published 1950. Oh, look, it's got its um, library card too. <laughs> look at him, yawning. <laughs> and it's got other animals in it. And I love the little sketches around them as well. It's an emu. full of Australian wildlife with the sketches and I thought they were really cool pictures. This is Gorillas Were My Neighbours. Actually, I did move to this new place and to tell you what, a lot of my old neighbours you could have thought considered gorillas. Um, although that's putting gorillas down. Um... So I think I got this just for the cover and I reckon someone did the same with this. I think they've cut the dust cover up and put it on the front, but they've sealed over it. So it looks really cool. And I got this for the cover because there's not much in the book, I don't think. So this is 1956. Oh, there was a picture there, but they're not pictures that I'd use. Pages are quite nice, so paper-wise. Lud Miller, A Legend of Lichenstein. Now, let's have a little look at the cover. So, yeah, that cover's quite nice. So I could widen. You'd have to widen the spine on that. You wouldn't fit. You'd fit a tag in there maybe in two pages. And I like grabbing these little stickers as well if they come off easy. So that's a nice picture. 1955. This has some nice drawings as well. This is the 100 best animals. I will have to save that spine, won't I, with the beautiful giraffe on it. Gifted in 1942. And it's got really nice old pictures of animals. I love the fox there. Uh, 1934. But yeah, and it's really nice thick pages too. And the font's quite nice. So I might hang on to the pages of this one. Did I see a, I think I saw a peacock somewhere. Oh, they've got a fair few birds. There we go. Oh, that is Gorgeous picture. So very happy with this one. They're a nice size too. The journaling cards. This one is Haunted Britain, a guide to the supernatural in England, Scotland and Wales. I grabbed it because it did have some pictures of castles and that that I thought were quite cool. But I reckon I'm going to read this one. 
It's the type of thing I would have loved reading when I was a teenager. And if I ever do, you know, your alternative style journals, um, this might be really good for that. So I'll check the date on it and see. That's pretty morbid and creepy and macabre. Macabre, I should say. Uh, 1973. It's got some nice black and white pictures. And I love the pictures of the old places, but the nice dark and creepy pictures. So I think that's going to be a great book. It was this song of the wheat. Nineteen eighty-eight. Sort of like a magazine, but what I like about it is the illuminated letters and the pictures are quite nice. really like those. And this, didn't even realise I grabbed this. The Tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher, a sticker storybook. So it has Beatrix Potter stickers, which is awesome because I've just got some more of her books. They're almost as bad as the little golden books and your Shirley Barbers. If you see them, you feel like you've got to grab them. But I try now to go for the sort of, I was going to say the more vintage style, but I don't think the ones I've got today are necessarily that vintage. But So yeah, and they're quite nice, those stickers. So I think we've got two pages of stickers, one at the front and the back, and then we've got the story with beautiful sized pictures. And these little pieces, which would be nice on tags. So, and then the back is... I think they look the same, which will be cool. So that was neat. Now, when I got there, I did notice over on a pile that there was this book with a note and some a rubber band around it, and someone had kept, put it aside for me, which was so cool. Um, so it's Robin the Rover. I've never heard of this one. But the pictures are so cute in here, and it's just quite damaged. Harvest time. That is really cool. And the colours. So I might have to look this one up too. But these are really nice prints. And the clown pages, that'd be great in a um, circus journal. There is Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan Annual. I did not know that Tarzan had an annual. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I grabbed it. You know, when I see the word annual, I usually just grab them because a lot of the time you get some really cool stuff in them. Not sure of the date on this one because I'm not going to sit there and try and figure out the Roman numerals. I did have it and someone explained it to me. I looked it up and I thought, oh, that's easy, you know, but then I just like forgot it like that. So <laughs> that's really cool, the purple there. So this has got some fun stuff in it. I think I mostly like these puzzle pages and that. A Happy Walk by Emily and her grandma. Now, I'm pretty sure this one I thought glue book fodder. It's just a lot of good uh, fussy cut bits. And this one is 1991. Oh, yeah, look at that. That might have to go in a berry journal. And cut him out. The Rosellas, aren't they cool? So that's 
great. I've got a couple of big ones. Weapons and Warfare of the 20th Century. I'm not a fan of war and weapons, but you do get some cool pictures and that. So as you can see, it was a real ruined book. So oh, look at those cigarette cards. That's what I mean. You do get some cool pictures. So I figure I might as well bring them home, trash what I don't like and um, keep what I do. So 1975 for this one. And I mean, there's others that, um, you know, probably would make journals with this sort of thing. He may have family members that have fought in the wars and that sort of thing, so. I really like the cigarette card page. Beautiful too in the ship. Not the big one, which is another thing I don't really like hunting. I did do a bit of hunting when I was young, um, out on a farm property, uh, with the rabbits and foxes were trouble. You know, it's not something that. I mean, I did enjoy it when I was young. <laughs> I should not get into this <laughs> topic, but yeah. It's not something I do now. Love the paper, so definitely reuse that. And that's a beautiful picture. Uh, 1980. So there are just some beautiful pictures in here. And probably some that aren't so beautiful, so. It's mostly illustrations. I think I can use these as background pages. So yeah, there are some really nice pictures in that. And I've got one more pile here. So there are a couple that I got for the cover. So this is a journey into the interior of the earth, to be specific, Jules Verne. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful cover on that. I don't think this one has a date. So I'll be looking this one up. Lovely, lovely cover. And this one I also grabbed for the cover. And it is a lover's litanies. So I don't know, you might make a little romantic journal or something in there. Maybe Red Rose or something like that. It's absolutely beautiful cover. Uh, gifted in May 1901. Oh, maybe I won't make anything with it. I'll be looking this one up because it's in pretty good condition. 1895, yeah. So I definitely look this one up. So Lovers, Litanies and Other Poems by Eric McKay. Beautiful book. And then here we go with our Beatrix Potters. I remember one day finding a whole lot of these in the bin. And they were the really old ones that, um, I think they're antiques actually. So uh, that started off my collecting of these little ones. And the size of the pictures and that is really cool. And you could um, easily reuse the covers, widen the spine and make beautiful little journals out of them. If, you get, if I get doubles and that, I'd probably do that. So these are newer ones. So I've got the Tale of Ginger and Pickles. I'm not sure if these ones had a date. No, they didn't. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, gorgeous pictures. Benjamin Bunny. The Pie and the Patty Pan. The T 
tail of Mr. Todd, the tail of Johnny Town Mouse. That's one I don't have. I don't think I have that one either. So, And I definitely don't have that one. I didn't know that one existed. I love the picture on the cover. Yeah. And the tail of Jemima Puddle Duck. Whoa, I just stopped a pile of my books from falling over. Hang on. Oh, the hazards of the craft. Uh, more golden books. So this one I think I grabbed out of the bin. As you can see, it's quite damaged. So it's Lassie and the Daring Rescue. And I don't think I have this one. 1957, this one is. I love the horses in that. The Large and Growly Bear. So when I'm going to the secondhand shops and that now, I'm basically looking for ones that I'm attracted to that I think I don't have um, or ones that I really want to make journals with that I don't mind having doubles, triples or whatever of and ones that I think might be first editions of whatever printing. That's my aim, I suppose. A bit upset with myself because I know that I got some um, originals once out of the bin, but they were like mouldy and broken, and <laughs> so they ended up going back into the bin. But yeah, so now I don't think I have any that I like your originals. Uh, fifth Golden Press Printing, nineteen eighty, for this one, and I think it's been covered as well. This one, but that's all right because I'll probably make a journal with this one in the future. And another Pussy Willow. I do really like it. And this one's an actual golden book. So um, it's a bit like wider. It's not a little golden book. It's a golden book. Um, and I think this one is possibly renewed in 79. But it's possibly the first... No, hang on. First little golden storybook edition is 1997 and this has an A before the Roman numerals. So I'm wondering if that means that this is like first edition of that printing or whatever. I don't know. I'm still trying to get my head around it. I'll get there one day. This book I've been eyeing off for ages and I keep not getting it, but I gave in today and got it because it's been sitting there forever. So the Dastardly Book for Dogs. Now there is a... It's not the, is it the Dustly Book for Boys or something like that? And I've probably got that here somewhere. And this is a parody of that, but it's for dogs. I might have to have a bit of a read of this. Um, but I love the cover and I think that will make a really cool canine journal. The cover's in good, pretty good nick. So this is 2007. Foul smells every dog should roll in. Escaping fenced in areas. Oh, I'll have to make sure if I get another dog that it can't read. Cats. And then I got this one the Country Diary Book of Crafts. I think it's my third one of these now by Annette Mitchell. I'll just. Yeah. This was in another, one of the um, recipe books I was putting away. I think it's time. Yeah, still has a bit of smell. But I thought it's still got enough colour in that that I might actually do something with it. <laughs> so, at least it's not a whole butterfly like I found not long ago. So this is 77 and of course it is a craft book. Is it all Christmas crafting? I think it's all Christmas crafting, no. But you have your um, Edith Holden pages in between. So it's sort of based somewhat on loosely on her works. So I usually grab it when I see it just for these few pages and check out the crafts and that. And the last book, I absolutely love this one. Leonardo da Vinci, Anatomical Drawings from the Royal Library, Windsor Castle. So, this is a beauty. And look at that cover. 
Nice for a glue book. Another one for an alternative journal. date so it has his sketches and they're pretty good size for a little journal a little page size that you could fold I didn't read this one because I'm a bit weird like that So that was awesome. So that's it for my book haul for this week. So take care of yourselves. Be good. Get some crafting done. And I will see you soon. Bye.